Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another long time coming death battle reaction. This is the first one I've done in quite some time for the simple reason of they block these all the time. Hoping this one does not get blocked. You will have known that by now because I would have put a disclaimer and how to do some shenanigans to get this video up. But I love Skyrim and I love, 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 love Dark Souls. You can't see them, but I got some. Actually, you can kind of see it next to Raw. Next, I got some. Got some themed dice from them they got, you know there's dark i got you guys know well and damn here i have loved dark souls i have the whole series rise of fenrir based in the original dark souls um i am biased yes i want dark souls to win i want the chosen undead to win this battle however i am fairly sure that he's going to get destroyed by the dragonborn they gave both parties their complete arsenal of items and we'll be back in a second Dogs will be dogs. <laughs> um, but yes, they gave both parties their complete arsenal. And really, the Dragonborn has things that straight up just counteract what the Chosen of the Dead can do. And on top of that, they're just way more powerful. It's not even close. Straight up. Other than being undying and keep coming back over and over again, I do not see any chance in hell the Chosen of the Dead wins. I would love it if they do. I want them to win. So here's the hoping. They're going to get obliterated, aren't they? They're going to... I'm predicting this now. It's going to end with him turning into a chicken and then killing the chicken. I'm just, that's what I, that's, that's, that's what's going to happen. So let's jump on this. Guys, if you want to watch this unedited, or not unedited, but the original video, link down below like it always is. Also down below next to the subscribe, bu 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 next to the subscribe button, which I want you to click if you haven't done so because I have the goal of reaching 10,000 subscribers sometime in my lifetime. There's also a new thing I have going on here. I have the join button active for memberships. I have canceled the Patreon. Patreon is no more. Just keeping on YouTube, keeping things simple. You can check out the tiers on my page. You can check them out. I'm going to be editing, adding more things to them as it goes. It's just kind of doing perimeter, you know, preliminary thing right now. Be adding more content to the memberships, make it worth your while. If you want to help support me directly, check those out down below. Join the Fenrir Clan here. Love you all so much. But without further ado, it's time for a death battle and to watch my favorite game series get destroyed. Let's go. Go and stop this. As long as it's a good fight, that's all I really care about in the end. Burn the age of humans to ashes. I'll love a good fight. Just please be a good fight. Please. The of dark will do anything to snuff out the light. Save us, chosen undead. We'll see. Well, I just. Uh... Hey, they got the parry sound effect. He's here after hitting him. Weird. Whatever. <laughs> Roll for life. <laughs> they had to put that bit in there. Oh, it just rips out Snow's hammer. Okay. Come on. Really? That was cool. That was nice. I like what it is. Like, that little part of the portion of the cool. Come on, my boy. Do work. Do work, Pete. Guts go. Cheater. Cheater. Cheater, you're pumpkin eater. Ooh, right through the dome. We got Thor here. This fight's sick, though. I can't be mad. This fight's so good. What about the moonlight? Oh, what about the Lou big scene? Love it. That's the sort of kills undead, so that's just not gonna end well for him. Huh. 
Except the Moonlight Greatsword is based on magic. Yeah, he's doomed. Prepare to die. Oh? Wait. Wait. Yeah, I didn't think so. Save this world, chosen warrior. Bring the fire! Let true dark. Let's see, is Fusura that strong enough to be able to push the entire thing? Our Lord hath returned. Did they both die? <laughs> KO! You die! Oh my god, this boss is bullshit! This debate was fascinating. The yeah, Dragonborn it? had a wider variety of training, better access to summons, and magic that passively regenerate, as opposed to the Chosen Undead's limited pool of magic. Vow of Silence was a slick counter to the Dragonborn's magic and shouts, but it wouldn't last forever. The Dragonborn was significantly faster, too. The Chosen Undead could dodge See, beams of light, sure, but Oriel's bow could fire arrows that move at least 250 times that. But none of that mattered if the Chosen Undead couldn't stay dead. You'd think the Dragonborn's anti-undead weaponry like yes. Dawnbreaker would be an easy solution, but the undead of Dark Souls aren't really the same as Draugr from Skyrim. This is true. Skyrim undead are more like those classic reanimated skeletons. But remember the conspiracy. Humans and Dark Souls are naturally immortal. They're not actually undead. Soul Tear wouldn't have been much use either, considering humans and Dark Souls can have their souls removed without dying. So why didn't the Chosen Undead just keep coming back until they eventually won? Like with any Dark Souls buzz. One word, power. The Dragonborn had way more and greater feats of raw power than the Chosen Undead. Oh yeah, like summoning country-spanning storms with a single. So they had him link the fire just to Mirad find the end of the fight. Is that what I'm getting from There's this? Also, the lore. Both characters are essentially mythological demigods in the same kind of vein as Hercules or Sun Wukong. Gameplay alone won't give you the best idea of their full power as characters. So let's get an idea of their max potential from the lore. The chosen undead sustaining the first flame with their soul was insanely impressive. Considering the first flame is responsible for the core concepts of the universe, like energy and time, it's not a stretch to say it affects not just the planet they live on, but the whole universe. But that's nothing compared to the power levels in the Elder Scrolls. Let's compare the. So really, it's like they had them just Alduin. they kind of ended the fight without a real ending. On the power of souls, and both can be directly scaled to our combatants. Alduin had strength to consume the universe, not just Nern, but the Kalpa as well. You know those planets you see in the sky? According to cosmology. Those are actually separate, infinitely big planes of reality. Alduin was going to eat infinity, multiple. Like I said, I'm fine with the way this ended, but the, the end of the, the fight itself was fantastic. The end was just kind of meh, kind of weird. It can't be infinite, otherwise it never would have faded to begin with. And that meant the chosen undead just wasn't powerful enough, no matter how many times they revived. With that much of a difference in power, the chosen undead would eventually lose their will to fight and go hollow. It's not traditional, but it is a form of death in Dark Souls. The Chosen Undead was surely tenacity personified, but still wasn't enough to stand up to the Dragonborn's incredible skill, broken arsenal, and overwhelming power. The Chosen Undead could only last so long before they flamed out. I don't know, I've died a lot more than three times and still to keep going. Hey, I'm fine with the ending. I'm fine with this Dragonborn winning, but the end felt kind of funky to me. Every two weeks this but hey, and click the fine, fine with perks. Well, this is a fun one. I, I don't care about this next one whatsoever. Hey, it comes out my birthday, though. Yay, me. Oh, we're not watching Mr. Brownlee on the hot ones yet. That was fun. That was a good, Let's say the fight itself did not disappoint. What's our the great fight? I'm fine with the ending. The ending, I mean, I'm fine with the end result. The ending was still kind of funny. Like I said, I died a lot more than three times in Dark Souls and did not become fully hollow yet. Plus, he never busted out of humanity to cure himself. They didn't think about that, did they? All, else, all in the end, that was a fun video. That was a fun fight. What do you guys think down below? Let me down in the comments down below. That was fun. I kind of wish the next one was a little more hype for me. For, I know for probably some people are going to love the next fight. I, I don't care. Uh, so let me down below what you guys like. Click the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Join the join the Fenrock Clan if you haven't done that either. All this fun stuff. Thank you all for watching. As always, name's David. You call me Fenrock. I kind of want to go play Dark Souls now, but... Diablo 4 is right in front of me. So, demons time regardless.